What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Bob's Burgers. So it's been a few weeks since Bob's Burgers, the movie has finally hit this big screen. And yeah, this is a movie that I've been dying to check out. This is a movie that I was incredibly excited for as we led up to its release. And unfortunately, I missed its initial release because I was out of town. Similar to what happened with Top Gun, I was uh, out in California, missed out on it, didn't get a chance to check it out. And of course, there were some big movies that released in the following weeks after Star Wars Celebration that I definitely wanted to try to cover right when they first dropped. Things like Jurassic World or Black Phone, but I've now caught up on things like Top Gun and I figured it was time to catch up on Bob's Burgers because Bob's Burgers is without a doubt one of my favorite shows of all time. It's a cheesy good time that just always kind of is almost like a comfort show in a lot of ways. Comfort movie and now with this movie now existing and these characters this world is just so silly and goofy and just right up my alley when it comes to humor and like i said it's just like good comfort tv that i've just thoroughly enjoyed over the course of years now i have done one video on bob's burgers before and that was a review of the first 10 seasons of the show as i did a full series breakdown up to that point giving my overall thoughts on all of the individual characters this, that, and the other. And unfortunately, that memory is kind of tinged by the fact that that was the very first video on the channel that got stuck at like 20, 30 views and never really grew beyond that. So definitely a you know disappointing element when I think back to that initial review. It always kind of leaves a sour taste in my mouth and it kind of sent me on a trajectory of a bad viewership for a while after I uploaded that review that I don't really know if I've necessarily recovered from. With that said though, I love Bob's Burgers and I had a lot of fun making that original video even if a lot of people didn't end up watching it. And now I'm weeks late on the review of this movie so I have a feeling it's probably gonna follow suit but I still wanted to talk about it here on the channel. So let's get into this. Bob's Burgers finally has a movie after over 10 seasons of television with the directors from the show, Lauren Butchard, as well as Bernard Derriman coming back and writer Nora Smith joining them as a writing trio to bring this movie to life. Of course, you have the cast returning to reprise their roles after all these years. H. John Benjamin, Dan Mintz, John Roberts, Eugene Merman, Larry Murphy, and Kristen Schaal as they bring us a Bob's Burgers movie. The basic premise of this film is that the Belchers are dealing with an issue with the bank as they have not had a chance to pay their business loan. While that's going on, a huge pipe burst in front of their establishment, making it hard to make any money because nobody's coming to the restaurant because they have a huge sinkhole right in front of their restaurant, right in front of the entrance. And amidst all of this going on, a dead body is found inside of this sinkhole, just kind of extending the process of them getting this sinkhole taken care of so that they can get customers back into the restaurant. With all this going on, Bob and Linda try to find out a way to you know, keep their business afloat, find a way to make some money, while the kids are kind of interested in what's going on with the murder and choose to go on an investigation. So you have Jean, uh, Louise, and Tina all going out on this adventure to try to find out who is behind the murder of the body that was found inside of the sinkhole in front of their establishment. And that's the basic premise of this film. I really enjoyed this movie. I had a lot of fun going and watching it. Uh, you know, it's one of those movies that definitely feels like doesn't necessarily need to be a movie. It feels like a really long episode with a higher budget. And there were some things here and there that I would trim out. But ultimately, this was a movie for me that I genuinely thought was for the fans. It may not be in anybody's top 10 list this year for movies in terms of, you know, a strong narrative with twists and turns and this, that, and the other. In a lot of ways, it did have that simplicity to it. It's writing that you come to see from the show that, again, is more of like a comfort TV, comfort story, comfort for characters kind of thing. And so in terms of this movie in and of itself, its writing was, you know, pretty straightforward in terms of its plot and its narrative. And you could see where certain things were going. There wasn't too many twists and turns. There were some twists near the end, but nothing that I think you would completely be shocked by. But when it comes to the humor, I thought that that's where this movie really shined as the movie did a really great job of capturing the essence of who these characters are from the show, taking everything that we've done with these characters up to this point and utilizing it in a movie in a fun and silly way. What I really enjoyed about this movie is that they created it in a way where you can come into this movie as somebody who's never seen a single episode of the show or maybe even seen just clips or bits of it and you will not be lost at all. It creates and resolves its own story within this movie which I think is ultimately a great way to bring more people
people's eyes onto the actual show. Um, I watch it usually on Hulu. Hulu has all the episodes and you can find tons of Bob's Burgers stuff there. And I believe the movie will also be going there uh, shortly after. I'm very happy I was able to check this movie out while it was still in theaters to be able to give this movie the theatrical support that I wanted to give it in upon its initial release. And thankfully the screening that I went to go see it in, though it was in a smaller theater inside of this theater or smaller, you know, actual auditorium, yeah, there was a decent amount of people in there and it seemed like everybody was having a good time. A lot of laughs from beginning to end. And yeah, I just had a smile on my face for majority of the runtime because it was just nice to see these characters interacting on the big screen and being given that bigger movie budget because the animation definitely here is a lot stronger than what you see on the animated show. You know, very similar in terms of the character designs and the look and feel of the world, but it is great to see certain things like the, the motion of the characters, the lighting or the water or anything that really shows you that the budget was able to kind of allow them to, you know, add more detail and a crispness to the look and feel of this, you know, movie than we usually get to see in the regular animated show, which in and of itself, you know, just has, you know, good animation for what it needs to be. And so again, just take that nice, cool, really, you know, straightforward animation and kind of give it a bigger budget. And it was just cool to see, kind of similar to when South Park or The Simpsons have done it in the past, leaping from the small screen to the big screen with that bigger budget. I don't really have an abundance more to say this is a straightforward movie about a murder plot and kind of figuring that all out while also trying to figure out how to keep Bob's Burgers afloat as a business. And, you know, the family comes together at the end to work together to figure it all out on both fronts. And ultimately, I had a lot of fun watching this. There was tons of moments throughout this movie that had me laughing. There were moments from time to time where I thought to myself, okay, it's gotten a little slow here. Okay, maybe this could have been trimmed out. Maybe this didn't necessarily need to be there. But for the most part, I think that this movie does a really good job of, you know, being something that takes these characters that we know and love and has fun with them and I think if you are a fan of the show uh, again you won't be alienated if you haven't seen the show you'll still be able to follow the story here but there's so much in the dialogue and certain things that the characters do and see and say that really is you know awesome because it's benefiting from the fact that you've actually seen all this stuff before so if you have seen all this stuff before there is a more of an emotional weight here with these characters especially around the character of Louise we learn a lot more about her character in in this movie and specifically in regards uh, to her pink hat, pink bunny ear hat, uh, which is a you know staple of the character. And I like that though this movie has a story that people can hop right into and not feel you know disconnected from it or feel lost if they haven't seen the show. I like that the movie also did things for longtime fans to kind of answer some new things and give us some new context to these characters, even if you have been watching for the 11, 12 seasons that the show now has. So a big thanks to you guys for watching me ramble my thoughts on Bob's Burgers over Overall, a good fun time. I don't think this is going to be on my top 10 for the year, but genuinely a good time at the theaters. I'm glad I was able to catch it in theaters and give my support to this movie while it was in theaters. I hope we get a sequel. I do we hope we get more on screen big adaptations of cartoons like this. It's always great to see things come from the small screen to the big screen, and Bob's Burgers is just definitely one of those things that just, you know, it had a smile on my face throughout the entirety of the time to see these characters on the big screen with a bigger budget and a bigger story I thought was super awesome. And ultimately that just, you know, put a smile on my face from beginning to end. I also want to shout out the uh, musical numbers in here, which again, like I mentioned before, that boost in its budget was really allowing them to do more with the animation than they've ever been able to do before. And the musical numbers have been a big part of the last chunk of the show in terms of its more latest seasons. And it's really awesome to be able to kind of see that translated to a movie now where they're able to kind of do more with those musical numbers because the animation is able to allow for more to be going on on screen. So that was really cool as well. But I'm gonna stop rambling here. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Hit that like button, comment your thoughts, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.